Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another episode, Tech Travel Bag Guide number four. On the road again, this time just gone for the weekend. So this setup is slightly smaller. We've got a slightly smaller pack. And remember, from last episode, we do have a winner, which was... Congrats to Ian C. You won a random item from episode three. That will be shipped out right after I'm done filming this. So congrats. Remember, you can win a random item from today's episode. All of that info is down below in the description. And just make sure you let me know which one of these items was your favorite in the comment section. Let's not waste any more time and get to our first item, which you kind of got a sneak peek of, which is the smartphone of choice, which I'm bringing, which is just the standard Galaxy S7, not the Edge version, just the good old regular one. I'm actually preferring the standard S7 over the Edge just because it's easier to hold, a bit more ergonomic for one hand. I kind of found the edges on both sides to be a bit slippery. I'm leaning towards the Note 7, which will have rounded edges on both sides. Hopefully that's a bit easier to hold. But the S7 does the job. It's got one of the best cameras on the market. And of course, I've got mine wrapped in my favorite colorway of D-Brand skins, Carbon Black with a hint of orange to make it my own. I am running stock Nova Launcher, but I'm expecting to switch this out quite soon, as I said, for both the Note 7 and that fabled iPhone 7 that should be coming out within the next month. Pairing with the S7, I'm gonna actually be trying this over the weekend. It's the Samsung Gear Fit 2. This will be able to track my GPS location, track all the activity that I'm doing, track and monitor my heart rate, control my music, give me instant notifications to my S7, all of that super useful as I'm going on a wine tasting tour. I hope I get some activity this weekend. It's got one of the nicest displays for any activity tracker, and this was one of the most hype for this year. Super pumped to see how well this pairs and how well it can keep up to my super active lifestyle. Pumping my tunes for the weekend, I am bringing the Rock Pals wireless Bluetooth speaker. It's got a very rugged build to it. It's got a nice solid construction, a nice little rubber grip on the outside that I can clip this both to my backpack or to just carry around. It's got decent sound with a nice kick of bass, a beefy battery, which easily should be able to last you all day, no matter what type of music you're listening to. Camera of choice, hands down, will once again be my RX100 Mark IV. This is one of the best cameras for this size. When I was at Tomorrowland, all of the day three footage was shot with this guy, and I actually think I might prefer this over the A6300, both in terms of portability and the solid lens that's paired with it. You've got some decent, decent versatility. I love this thing. I can't speak highly enough about it. The pack of choice which I'm bringing, this is called the Air Sling Bag. It's by a company called Air SF. Remember, all the links will be listed in the description. With the name Sling, it's naturally just got one strap. And the thing that I love about all Air products, no branding, all black everything, and a high quality pack. It's made out of ballistic nylon, so it's super durable. It's got 17 liters of volume. And what I really love about all of these things is the secret compartment on the bottom, which can store your shoes, which is super handy. You don't wanna mix these up with your normal tech gear. And just for kicks, pun intended, I've decided to include a pair of shoes in this video. I consider this part of my tech slash gear game, and these can fit nicely right into the bottom of this pack. And they've also got a nice little hole at the bottom for ventilation, so all of your gear doesn't get super smelly. And the last piece of gear that I'm taking with me, I definitely consider these gear related. A ton of you have been asking me over on Insta, what are the glasses that I'm rocking? I actually just picked these up in Tomorrowland. These are the Oakley Frog Skins. These are the Eric Costin Editions. When I saw the colorway of the orange clear, a bit of camo on the stems, I knew I had to get them. And what I love about all Oakley sunglasses in general, I'm usually pretty rushed, a bit hectic, and a bit rough with all of my gear. You can snap off the stems, you can sit on these things, and they survive. And you usually can't say that for most other sunglasses, and these are usually my go-to pair. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed episode number four of my tech travel bag guide. Remember to comment down below which your favorite item was, and you've got a chance to win one of these random items in next month's episode. All that info underneath the like button. This series and my Geared Out series seem to be doing very well, so that 
probably means you guys like watching them and I absolutely love making them. So make sure you sub to the channel as you'll be seeing a lot more of that content. I will catch the rest of you in either my next episode or vlog. Peace.